Now, yeah, this matchup isn't too good just because of one move, which is Thunder Jolt. Thunder Jolt alone set the pace where we have to try and jump in quite a lot. I'm not gonna lie, I think though Wing does have a decent amount of experience in this matchup. I know he's played quite a few Pikachus in bracket. I know it's not one he likes, but he's played quite enough Pikachus so he knows the basics of the matchup. So hopefully he he knows what tools to use to approach because if he just goes through a lot of jumps or anything that's or dodges, it's what Pikachu's expecting and you only see like the the, the loops, the ground combos. You know what I also like is the fact that he, knew, he, he knew how to DI the throw because there's certain ways you DI up throw and down throw, left or right depending on which one it is. There we go, we see that. And Pikachu is pretty easy to get around the trap, but it's just like that one thing that Again, when Pia comes to do the same, he finds his edge guard. Very good edge. Pikachu is uh, infamously a hard character to hit, so I don't think he's too afraid to go through the options when he's at the rage. Ooh, brings him back down, but I mean, at least he's racked up some damage, so, you know, think of the positives. Pikachu is extremely light. One mistake. That's the end of it. Wind's not afraid to try and just throw out all of his attacks against Pikachu. He knows his wind condition, he's going for it a lot. Hang on. Who's got the one right now? It's going to be impressive to see if Thunder can make a comeback. It's not something I'm familiar with Pikachu, given well, you know, the fact that this character is very busted. But again, Wing's got a good amount of knowledge. What we usually see is more uh, Thunder in this matchup, but Hunter seems like he's more willing to just kind of. I mean, we've seen his playstyle in the rest of his characters, he's the normal sort of guy. Instead of trying to play out neutral, go for a lot of projectile play, he just wants to go for the combo screen damage. Which isn't necessarily, necessarily a bad thing, but I reckon in certain matchups he'll want to focus more on um, uh, neutral rather than going in for combos and advantage state. Yeah, this matchup seems to be working out. Run at him and get to grab them at the. If he runs the one down to that can spell the death of the guy. Or the up B. He is a very light character too. He's in a short Yukon. He's not afraid to use them and he's not getting punished. Oh, that's he recovered again. way too low there. Unfortunate to see. Challenge me after some practice. And we can get the first game. Phasma just put pancaking do be strong though. It do be strong though, I agree. Didn't see too many cases of it, although it definitely can help with uh Tatsu, but uh, yeah, again, Ken and his uh, down tilts kind of uh, eliminates pancaking. So in regards to that, um, the matchup isn't too hard in terms of pancaking. Let's see if uh, if Hamza will stick with a Pikachu, maybe choose a bit more of a flat stage, bigger stage, so he can actually. Thunder Jolt a bit more. We're going to see Ken vs Joker now. We're going to see the Joker. Ready? And it's on, uh, let's have a look. Right. Unova. I think we haven't seen this stage for a while on stream, so it's going to be nice to see. Oh! Uh, as I speak, by the way, just looking at the stream, we've got a raid here. Uh, thank you, uh, let's have a look. Fried Rice Balls, raiding the party of five. Yeah. 
Oh my god. And, oh my god. That was weird. And he walked into him, making sure he goes on stage. Zero to death, as we see. Right, wing and his advantage, so. he, just, he just did not care, like, he, he's just confident right now, and he just pushes them off as well. I'm doing well right now. He's not letting it get to him right now, like, he, he's still playing it normally as he went before, he's not like the sort of typical player that like takes a stock and then decides we need to spam our strongest moves no matter how familiar they are. You see that? Yeah, he's very good. He's right there. He, he's not running in mad almost. He's, he's still calculating. He still knows that he needs to make like, He's already quickly picking that up. And he's getting this combo. Really strong damage already. And already, after the zero to death, almost evens up. These two players, man. Oh my... The border? The border alone Even here. after the shield Jeez break, he's Christ. winning. But he's lost our send now, so he's gonna have to... Much more willing to go off stage. He knows that he can take the forward air easier than the back air now. He's proving it. I think even after that zero to death. I honestly think his usage of forward is pretty good because like we've seen a lot of uh, the um, focus attack being used to recover because it takes a hit. But the fact that forward air is a two hit um, move means that he can catch it anyway. Whereas back air obviously is just, just yeah, the one, the one strong hit. Back, back to even though right now. It's gonna be impressive to see who can take this game. He's trying to catch up the down tilt. He's not holding the down being led because... Because he's already got our set now. But... Let's see the head of the way, not again! The same way again! Everybody averaging away, Wing does not care. He reads it every time. Game 3, potentially the last game of the tournament. Or he could bring it back to, uh, to reset the, the, the bracket. Man. That game was just like a flash in my mind. It was over way too quickly. Scaring me, that's what it's doing. <laughs> Let's have a look. Other games. One minute we're talking about a raid, the next. Who the hell knows what happened? Uh, Wing's gone for the same stage bands. He's banned Battlefield Yoshi's. They're going PS2. PS2. Again. It's Ken vs Joker again. Can uh, Hamza figure out the way to win this match? Yeah, if Wing wins one more game, then that's cool. He's got a, quite a decent pool of guys as well, right? He got, um, what was it, second in the first Smash Sense Online battle with Terry. Then he won the last one he entered with Ryu. And now he's gonna win this one with Ken. Like, that's already his best three characters to win the tournament, if he does it. And then I reckon he would probably try to hold that flip or something. Neither seem to have right. the upper hand over the other right now. Did you reckon to be comfortable with the same right now? That was smooth. The gun to the upper. Yeah. Yeah. He's very creative with his combos. And now we see the hunters finally pulling out the down B as well. He's very creative. He's got a lot of fluidity in his game right now. Oh. Oh no, that's taken. And the angle. Oh, he put out a jump. I think if he wait, if he weighed out the up B a little more, I think it might have caught it. Uh, I'm not sure. I think I think it's more so because like he used the up B as he was coming towards it, and then that kind of made him go too low after the first one. Down smash. 
Hunter can do a fake here. He was, he, 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 that's good. why he didn't go for it. He was just waiting for the down B, he knew it. I like Ken's creative uh, comic potential right now. It's like we just um he's got to think on his feet when when it comes to playing Ken and at the moment we're, we're seeing a lot of creative stuff we've done he's done. Taking stocks at, uh, with the deaths, the shield break we saw in the last game, and then also catching the dodges away. Oh, we're just the down throw into forward air and side B. We've seen that a bunch of times. I'm just not really going for the, the simple. Uh, oh, we just got our share. That was unfortunate. Had, had that come out a bit early, he would have made that back. This combo game, 48 already. Getting yeah, a little impatient yeah, there. He's, his spacing's becoming a bit less efficient. But Wing wants to end it. That could be this. Rolling in. This could be the end. Really quickly again. Our slowly about to go. Hunter again without our send, really struggling to Edgard win. I think he's trying to catch him for him. Wing just seems content with kind of fading away from everything. Then running in and just going for it. And that's going to be it. Yep, that's 3 0 to Wing and the tournament. Giving him first place for a second tournament in a row. Uh, Hamza coming second, and Hyconic coming third.